So I met Ryder a 909 the day of the independent shoot. And I didn't have a lot of information on him. I didn't know uh, very much about him actually. Uh, but I thought he gave a really good interview. And the way that I met him was through uh, Invincible. Uh, it was him, it was one of his friends, you know, he told me, hey, my buddy, Ryder909 Ryder raps, he does music, and if you like, I can reach out to him to see if you, uh, if he wants to do the show for you. Um, I had nine people already, I wanted to do ten for the, uh, independent show, so I was like, yes, Invincible, if you could, please, uh, reach out to him and see if he's down. He did, he reached out to me, and, the, you know, uh, I think we shot, uh, he reached out to Invincible, he didn't reach out to me, he reached out to Invincible. We confirmed the date, and uh, the same day that Invincible was doing the show, I decided to go ahead and try to book him and another one of the artists that Invincible had gotten for me on the same day, so we can, because uh, Invincible had rented a, a studio that he was shooting his show on, and I thought, I'll go ahead and tack on a few more additional hours to that particular studio, and we'll go ahead and finish it out. And this was actually the last, well, they won't say the last, because my episode was the last one, but his was one of the last two that I had to shoot and get everything done. And I learned about his story actually in real time. You know what I'm saying? I actually learned, and it's the interesting thing about uh, Ryder's uh, interview was like he was saying certain things that maybe I might have been feeling in my journey as far as being an independent artist like he was saying things about family and saying things about support and uh, you know just the music production and the music process in itself that actually I myself was going like you know I have gone through some of this myself as an independent artist and it was relatable to me um, I was, you know, trying to get as many questions out of him as possible. I know we were kind of on, like, on a, uh, not say a quick timeline or a quick timetable, but I thought his answers were very sincere, uh, very, you know what I'm saying, uh, in-depth. Uh, even when I was asking him once, I think about, which, you know, do you think being signed is better or do you think being independent was better? I thought he gave a great answer as far as the dynamic between the two, right? I think, you know... Uh, it's a good balance. Maybe you might want to be signed, but even, you know, it has to be a, you know, kind of set up right. And I thought that was super dope that way. It's like, okay, you know what? That, that makes a lot of sense. Um, and like I said, I think he just had an overall great episode. Uh, I think he gave a lot of detail about his journey, uh, what he does, you know, um, some of his ups and some of his downs as far as what he does for music production. And, uh, like, you know, his ability to create songs and uh, showcase his skills and his storytelling in that process. Uh, so if you do get a chance, definitely, I said, go ahead and watch Ryder 909. It's a great interview. Uh, like I said, he just does give a lot of detail on what he's saying, a lot of uh, in-depth of his process, his journey. And uh, now that I, like I said, I've got a chance to meet him, I see him in the studio probably uh, more often than I see a lot of others. Like, he seems to stay in the studio recently. I don't know, recently since I've been aware of him. Like, every time I notice him, he's always recording something. He's making new music. He is putting up new videos. And he seems to be, like I said, just focus on getting his music out there getting his craft out there and that's what we want to highlight man uh so his docuseries is kind of going through where he's been at currently and then as i met him and as i got a chance to know him i get a chance to watch what he's doing now and see like i said the production and uh the high clip that he's putting out music staying in the studio he's staying creative and uh like i said i'm just happy that we were able to get one of the first interviews with him you know what i'm saying while he's on his journey and while he's doing his process uh, so sit back, check out Ryder909, like I said, a dope artist, dope lyricist, uh, got a, a melodic tone in some of his music as well, and like I said, I think, you know, even some of the, the hooks he has, super catchy as well, I think that uh, it's just a much watch, a must see as you watch an artist on the rise getting ready to do his thing.